everybody, welcome to Quick Tip Thursday. This is a behind the scenes of my new pattern review class that I'm going to call um, Beyond the Boat Neck. And I know I've shown you this design before when I was working with the stripes and I was trying to get them to match. Um, but another thing that happened when I was working on this was I was trying to make an open tank top kind of back to this. And you'll notice, you can see my bra, um, really like an Olympic sport on here. And so my quick tip for today is gonna be about using your bra as a guideline when you're trying to make an open front or an open back. And you can use this technique for, you know, with any pattern. It doesn't need to be with my t-shirt class, but I thought it was an interesting, um, way to fix the solution, I mean, an interesting solution to the problem because I'm wearing the same shirt, right? And you know, my bra, my bra is not showing in the back like it is on here. And I just wanna show you how I fix that problem. I put my bra in my dress form and then I took a few measurements. And the measurements I took were from the top of the shoulder down to where that o-ring is and that's oh, let me just see art is about eight inches okay so i made a note that's my drop so i'm just going to make a note that my drop was eight inches and then the other thing i wanted to pay attention to was how wide of a space i had to have an open back because who wants to wear you know a nice open shirt if you're constantly fussing with the straps to keep them keep your bra bra straps hidden so I measured and I got seven and a half. And when I measured from center back to either side, I got four inches on one side and three inches on the other side. So I decided to play it safe and say my max from center back to the side would be three and a half inches. So I've got that marked. And then the other thing I looked at was in the front, um, when I had the shirt on, I just made a note of how much my bra was showing. And I did that while I was wearing it because it shows a lot less on me than it did on the dress form because my bust fills out these cups much better. Um, but I had about an inch and a quarter extra showing just in the corners here. So I'm gonna use that information to draft, you know, this open neckline that will actually cover my bra and feel comfortable and I don't have to fidget around in it. So. Let me just explain to you how I did the back. Um, my original back looked like this. And you can see it's a pretty wide open back. And I got this from just, you know, like let's say you're working with a closed back. And this could really be any basic, you know, Empire waist pattern piece. And basically what I did was I just scooped it out and called it a day. And that's where I ran into trouble. So applying my measurements allowed me to make a back that was more comfortable and um, fit better. And you'll notice when I lay it on top, one of the things I did first was I actually shifted the, the armhole of the sleeve over or in a half an inch. You know, it was on the dress form. My straps were here and the, 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 the straps for the top were almost on the outside of my bra strap. So I shifted in that and then I made sure that I only cut out to my eight inch depth. And then I filled in the um, corner here to make sure I covered my, the cup of my bra there. So that's how I use the measurements to um, create an open back that is also hidden by your bra. I'm gonna do two things at once. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure my eight inches down so I know where my drop is. All right, so this is how low I can make my drop. I'm just gonna slide that up and I'm gonna kinda go across into my armhole as well. All right, so I've got this L shape and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slash this and I'm gonna slide it in a half an inch. All right, so there's my half inch guideline. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slash on my L-shaped line that I made. And I'm just gonna slide that in that half inch. 
draw a horizontal line down the center to my seven and a half or my eight inch drop that I measured in the back from my shoulder to where I can, um, you know, so I can still hide my bra. All right, so that's the amount I can go down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a, you know, the out inside of my strap like this. All right, now the other thing I need to consider is how far can this opening be? Remember I said it can only be three and a half inches. I'm going to measure in my three and a half inches, which puts me right here. All right, so I'm gonna have to change the shape of this to accommodate that. So I'm gonna change the, sh the straight shape of the back strap to accommodate the fact that I can only be this wide. So why don't we start by dashing it in. I'm gonna start somewhere up here and I'm just gonna dash, and then I'm gonna dash from this way to make sort of a nice transition from my my base of my back neckline to you know the side like that. All right, so then I'm going to use my I seem to have lost my plastic trench curve, so I'm just going to use my metal one, and I'm just going to fill in a nice curve here. All right, and see how that kind of makes a nice shape. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add seam allowance to this and then I can cut it out. So if you have any questions or comments about how to create an open back so your bra doesn't show, please post them below or you can visit my blog at JSTERN Designs. Um, and also you can look for my new class which will be coming out in a couple weeks. And this weekend, I have very exciting news, I'm taking my daughter to the Norwich Inn and Spa for her um, before going to college love up session with her mom. So we're going to be going Sunday night to Monday. So I'll be nice and relaxed for Quick Tip Tuesday next week. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you next week um, for Quick Tip Tuesday. And I hope you have a great day.